Cross, cross, cross. Oh, I bottled it. Oh. Wow. The sun is firing in the UK at the moment. The temperatures are on the rise and for the majority of people, that means one thing, relaxation and most likely beer gardens. However, for me, all it does is add fuel to the fire to get out and shred the bike. But one line in particular, because I know a skinny of doom which goes over the canal. The reason I wait for the good weather to arrive is because if you fall in, the water when it's freezing cold it just makes it so much worse it's a bit mind-boggling this challenge because on the one hand it's really safe as you have water underneath you to catch you if you fall however i'm not really sure how safe falling into a germ riddled algae filled canal actually is so yeah it's quite an interesting challenge this one but i'm super stoked for it as ever bike choice is super important and a line like this requires a lot of balance and precision so obviously a trials bike would normally be your go-to machine however i do want to add a bit of a challenge but as you can see there's quite a few bikes to decide from we've got downhill bikes trekking bikes trials bikes tandems e-bikes dirt jump bikes enduro bikes and i think my bike for today is going to be the enduro i would love to do it on the e-bike but i just feel that water and electric don't really mix and i don't fancy taking my e-bike into the river just in case i do fall in i also just wanted to show you guys the garage because a while back i done a dream garage video said the series would continue and it has stalled which is really frustrating but as you can see the garage is really full up at the moment it's always in operation because we're constantly out trying to film videos and to finish the work is so difficult because to even get it clear i have to move this whole lot out do the work film it it's such a long process it will happen at some point but i need to get ahead and make time to do it if you haven't seen the first video from that series be sure to check it out it'll be at the end of this video but unfortunately you're just gonna have to wait a bit guys i know some of you are commenting and waiting to see it i'm waiting to see it but right now we're going to get this bike out and go hopefully not fall in the river in some ways with the temperature being nice and warm it'd actually be quite nice to fall in but in other ways i mean when you see the most likely the state of the water you probably couldn't think of anything worse what do you think cara i think it's gonna be hilarious i actually really want you to fall in do you? are you gonna put are you gonna are you gonna sabotage me at all well i'm not gonna tell you if i am although well, you're filming you, know. you could give the little gate because it's quite wobbly you could give it a good shape maybe to yeah. aid a crash but i think the viewers will agree with me in saying that it'll add for entertainment value if you do fall in oh i i, I would agree yeah yeah fall in then <laughs> fall in then yeah that's the answer all ready to go ready to go shall we spin to the spot yeah Oh no, I can see it in the distance. That's so scary. Check this out. Right, this is scary. As you can see, it's a pretty gnarly setup. Quite a tight angle. You've got a bit of interference from the two blocks on there which is going to make the turn a real challenge and there's a big split in the wood which is probably wide enough just for your tyre to not get stuck but definitely affect your balance. I want to just walk across it first. It's quite a tight turn you know, sort of like that. I think, I think you've actually got it, like I don't know if you'll fall in, I hope you do because it'll be funny but I think yeah. you'll actually be alright. Okay. You're really weirdly good at stuff like that. I knew this was a video idea when the weather improved and then today it, it reignited within my brain when I woke up that, oh the weather's good, let's go film that today. And now I'm here, I'm definitely, not regretting it, but I'm definitely, why did I think of that? <laughs> Look at that water quickly. Like that. That is so gross. It's a nice temperature though. <laughs> Temperature's good. No, no. <laughs> Thank right, you. I'm gonna get round there and I think it's almost time to hit this thing. Before I even think about crossing the water, I have to get onto it. It's quite a low level thing, but yeah, nice and wide. And then that's gonna be my view. Cross, across. Hopefully finish this thing over there nice and safe and dry. Right, first attempt then, let's get on this thing. Oh. Wow. Oh, 
That's kind of daunting, isn't it? Yeah. I think if I just go, it'll be fine. Yeah, I think so. We'll get the front wheel over. Dunk, dunk. If it was on the the way you've got to look at it is if it was on the ground, you'd just go. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I mean, I've got to just try. Get it. Hopefully I see you over the other side of it, nice and dry. Yeah. You'll be fine. It's just scary, isn't it? Yeah. Right, here we go. Up onto the lock. Didn't even need to dive in the water. Oh, you know what? I don't know why because it's water, but I was shaking there. Really? Wow. Yeah, that's scary though, isn't it? Yeah. Just so good. Literally, just because the water's so disgusting, I don't really care about stuff like that. But I mean, that's just stagnant algae in there, and it's just just vile, really. And I didn't say this at the start of the video, but when we arrived, the locks. <laughs> yeah they can actually move. So I just move. did that with them moving which was so scary because I was really really worried that my front wheel would go onto one of them and if I wasn't quick it would push the gate open and then I wouldn't even stand a chance of making it across so yeah what a success. Did you walk across it? Probably not. Probably not. No. See I'm the only idiot around here. <laughs> what about all these guys? Would you guys do it? No, no. I'd probably fall off without the bike. Sick. 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 Yeah. We've left the dangers of that disgusting, vile cauldron, which we were just riding over. I mean, it was actually bubbling in the sun. It's disgusting. But we've come to the local woods because last night when I was riding here, I created a new tech line at the top of a cliff edge. And I think it's really fitting to share it with you guys. Come with me. You enter this thin chute here and straight away, the first thing you'll notice is that huge drop to my left. And what makes it tricky is you have to negotiate this route and it's slightly off camber before going even more off camber and having to deal with another route sticking out of the ground. It then gets even harder. When you get to here, there's two options. You can either bail out and safe, safely ride off this way, or you can tackle the full line and drop straight into this massive hill to my right. But this is quite scary because as you can see, I was stood on a small platform. And by the time you're up on the bike, this is really close and you can't cut the turn it's really loose it sort of slides as you're on it and it's just really sketchy in depth but i will happily demonstrate it to you right as you can see this has a quite a sneaky blind entrance to it it's a scary line you know can't be as death as that thing i just rode That's sick. I don't know if it looked as gnarly as it actually is. Did it look gnarly? Yeah, actually. Cool. It's scary because if you was to wobble on that ledge, you'd have to turn and go down, otherwise you'd fall down. But if you do that, you're gonna hit your head on the tree. So yeah, there's probably more consequence to it than what you actually see or what meets the eye. Let's find another one like that to ride. This one's quite death. It crosses two lines, not dangerously like anyone's gonna go down them, but it crosses over two, goes through some brambles and point you towards an oak tree. Oh, that was close to the tree. There was one point within that where it got mega, mega steep and it felt like I was going to go for the bars actually. It looked like it was really close to the tree. Yeah, it's a weird, oh, it's a weird line. There is no line. It's not, it doesn't exist. It's not a thing. I think we should blast the hip. That's so good. Yeah. This is the ski jump and it's one of my favorite runs. This jump's just been redone, it's riding really good. It goes down the hill, round the corner, and then down into a tabletop jump the other side, which is just a really nice run. And to finish this video, we're gonna get some tricks out on this thing and just capture the whole run, put it together, and make it look as fun as it really is to ride.
here. What a line. I sort of improvised a bit at the end there and cut into the canyon section and hit like a downhill line. I just thought, seeing as this video has been all about the tech and the lines, let's end it with one of those. And unfortunately, that is the end of this video. What a day. Like I say, I'm so stoked I didn't fall in that water earlier because that was absolutely disgusting. But at the same time, it's a super fun challenge because it was still really, really scary, although it's only water. But yeah, stoked to get that one ticked off again. And hopefully I won't have to go do it for a while. So if you've enjoyed this one, give us a thumbs up, leave some comments below, and I will see you guys in the next one.